Hi everyone, it's Jeanette, Crafty Dork, here with another video um, on the altered book. <coughs> I've better put my right specs on. Those, I bought a pair that um, are good for um, close-up work, so see how we go. What I've done is I've been through the book and I've just popped some things in there that I might um, use and work on. For the different pages so make it a little bit easier and uh, perhaps a little bit quicker this one i'm going to use one of artie may's um, collage pages and i thought i would use the little tim holtz no, i'm just gonna pop that one out there little tim holtz um slotted what are they called slotted slotted frame i think that's what it's called and um Yeah, slotted frame. Yeah, I think everybody's seen it by now. Um, hmm. uh, two dies. No, it's only one die. Unless there's something else happening in there, I don't know about. I think that other. Oh, the other little bit. That's right. Big pardon. There's a little piece there that will go on the front there if you want to put a. Um, another little piece on the on it but I haven't done that I've just used the I must remember that for uh, for next time so that's what we're going to do I'm going to leave it craft color because I um I think it tones in with you know some of the the colors around there and then so basically what I'm going to be doing is sticking the these on the pages this is how simple it, will, it can be and I want to make it simple so that if you you want to make one of these and it's your first time, it's not going to be daunting. Cup of coffee. And we're away. So we'll ink the edges here first. might just pop that little one away so I might just work on the pages and then we can stick them in save I've also got um, I bought some beautiful sari silk got no idea which side is the but I like that side and I think you could use both I thought I'll pop that down the middle and that will cover up this little piece here and um, and it just tones in it's got that the greens and the golds and um, we'll pop that over this side. Okay, so that's the way they're going to go in. Hope you're all very well. It's a beautiful Sunday here today. I am doing some of these in advance um, because I'm working. It's um, it's a bit harder to do the video, so I try and do a couple um, in advance so that um, there's still something around to watch and um, I know um, Gail does the same thing if she's uh, well I think most of us do don't we most of them so I'm just going to do a little bit I'll just pop that down in the center of that just to give it a bit of a, a bit of shadowing Got the kids coming for tea tonight. Oh. Um, pulled a roast out and I thought, oh, may as well. Um, do a um, a roast and get. Joanne and the kids over because they they haven't a bath in their place. They've got showers and the kids love playing in the baby bath and you know mucking around and what have you. So every now and again, so come over and have a a big bath and a big play. So we may as well have the roast while we while we're doing that. I can't believe I left the lid off this ink last night and it seems to be darker than ever. Uh, there you go. 
to me it doesn't make a difference i've actually left the lid off to, for two days and it still hasn't dried out so i guess because it's not um alcohol ink it's um it's water based and it um doesn't evaporate especially in the cold weather as much as now <clears throat> i might actually flip sides i know it's the reason being i want that sort of closer to this side and if i pop it on the center then this will cover it or may cover it over so i think i'll do it like that and then this one i can put on i'll put it down a little bit uh, I was only going to put one on there, and then I thought, oh, let's see. And then have that as journaling space. We'll see how we go, because I've got a max, or I've got, where are they? And I think these will work okay. I did these the other day, a whole load of little um, cards that I had from... Um, when I first started, I reckon, and I think, you know, they are, they're all florals, they're all botanicals, and I'm sure they will go okay in there. So, a bit like Sharon, I've changed things around, I've got no idea where everything is at the moment. So, we just... Oh, I haven't used this yet today. My son just sent me a picture of uh, little Greta in her crow's top. Mm. We still live in hope, but I don't think they're doing very well this year. They're going, they're just playing to give the young guys that they've got in the squad experience, I think. And we just have to, it's all got to be worked again. We'll work from the bottom up by the look of it. Not that I'm a big footy fan, but you hear the old fella talk about it. So that's like that one. Now, is that? Have I got that up high enough? Oh, yeah, good. Okay. <clears throat> so now I might just see if I've got a little something that goes on the side. Or I could put a couple of these. <clears throat> sort of as a as a little collage there to uh, So we'll put a little bit of that across the bottom. Get this proper scissors out. This is from the spine of my glue book. And that's got paper and the book binding tape. And, and I quite like that. So we might put that down. It's a bit, a bit of texture and something different, isn't it? When I'm saving all these little bits, I think, oh, God, you just... You've lost the plot, woman, but 
it sort of blends in and it's so these I'll try and work out where I got them from but I'm sh pretty sure they're Tracy's they're not Tracy's they're um, um, Artie Mays because they're <clears throat> it's about that time that I was just starting out and I um, was getting kits from both of them. Okay, so that looks cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's probably in the old throat today. I was looking for these yesterday and do you think I could find them and now they've just fallen into my lap. Okay, let's see which one. We'll audition, hey? <coughs> Golly me. Sorry, I'm a bit quiet, otherwise just concentrating and it's not working. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> I think I'll use that little one. I'll leave those there for a Might put another one on a bit later. Come hither, Bin. I'll just do the I've done this onto black um, cardstock I just thought I'd try doing it on the, the card I didn't print these on sticker paper this time there we go I'll pop him there his little antenna I will stick there and I have somewhere over here. Where are you? Now I've got something in front of their drawers that I've got to leave. Okay, I've got some little teeny weeny little gems. And I just these are reasonably new, but I always just pop a little bit of glue there just to make sure. And I should be using my other little pricker thing, but I won't use this one. Now it's on my finger. And just pop a little gem. That's cute. Okay, so that one's ready for the page now. The question is, do I do the same on that side? What do you reckon? Yay? Nay. It'll give more little journaling spots, won't it? But then I could put... I mean, we've got that whole journaling spot. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get the little... Oops. put it over the top of that or do I put it underneath and I think I like it over the top 
Yes, so we'll put glue that down first. This is the Fabri-Tac, whatever you guys are using, the, the bit heavier glue. Just, okay. Now this one I'm going to put glue stick on, but I will fabric tack or probably um, um, glitter, gl uh, glitter glue the um, area of the sari silk. I saw these sari silks online on um, Etsy. It's Australian um, seller. They weren't cheap, but then you've got to pay for something like this. I get my um, the plain ones from which craft do you do? Um, yeah. You know, I think I'm going to leave it plain. I really do. I do, I do, I do. Yep. Because I've always got the option later. And um, I can always leave, if, I, if somebody wants to buy, I can always leave a spare little um, frame with the ephemera that I usually put into a um, journal or anything that I journal I sell I always send a bag of ephemera and things because I like people to be able to uh, put their own touch on on um, their books or journals it's um it's nice to be able to do your own thing. Okay, so now I'll just whip this around. So this is this one. And I'm just going to do videos one at a time because I think they'll be reasonable, a reasonable length. And um, don't want to bore you to tears. So they'll be quick little videos just to show you each page as I do it. And there we go. So to tie this in, I might pop a little. Where are you guys? Do you know, I lost these butterflies the other day, didn't I? And now I've lost them again. Here they go. Here they are. Let's see if I can find one of those other little ones. I'll just stop a second. There we go. Save you the boredom of watching me cut these out and uh, 
fluff around so we've got them cut I'm going to pop two of those on the page and I think that'll look rather nice and it will tie the page in I mean it's it's tied in by the style of the page in paper anyway but um, it will tie in with our little butterfly on the other side cute tie the whole lot in together and I, I just let you know I haven't forgotten about all the suggestions that you guys did for me on the um, 500 subby giveaway um, I'm working on some projects uh, some sewing projects um, but at the minute I've got my little grandson's jumper that I've got to finish and that's um, embroidering onto wool now I can show you that if you would like to see how you um, stitch um, onto a jumper it's uh, it's very easy um, it looks as though it's been um, knitted on but it's actually uh, hand um, hand done and uh, did lots for my kids when they were little I just I enjoyed um, the process of that so we might be able to do that if it's something that you would all like to see okay so there's that page and we will put some um, pieces in let's see that's probably nice with a bit of yellow that's Oop, there we go so I have a little bit of that sitting up there um, here's another little one no that's too big there's a little one I'll put a little bit of that color so these are more um, botanically that's a little booklet perhaps we could put the little booklet up there that's an orchid um, and let's put the other little orchid there yeah so there's our page i hope you enjoyed that one um, and we'll be back with the next one um, in the next video so until then happy crafting and bye for now